Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. So today I have Onyx's makeover, which I've already mentioned was coming. So in this one, because I didn't do the gradual transition that I was hoping for, because I didn't play with them as a teen for very long, so I didn't really have time to kind of implement that. I mean, I could have, but I just wanted to kind of get through it and just move on. So... Onyx is transitioning more so than anything in this video, so you guys will see the final result at the end of the video. And also yesterday, I did go ahead and post a speed build on Onyx's studio apartment, so where they're going to be living for, I guess, the beginning portion of their life, even throughout university, and maybe even their career. Well, actually, no, I think eventually, once they become a Simlish online school teacher, I think that they're going to end up going and moving into Forgotten Hollow. I haven't figured that out. I still want to make Forgotten Hollow like a nicer place. And if you guys are interested in submitting Sims for Not So Berry specifically, I'm going to go ahead and have you guys submit under the hashtag Nixle Townies, but make sure that you include in the description that it's for Not So Berry Extended. Just write NSBE or whatever it is, just so that I know they can be vampires, they can be non-vampires, preferably no CC but if there's a little bit of CC I can go ahead and make do with what you guys give me but just it's so much easier to put the sims into the world without having to give them all full-on makeovers so if you guys would be interested in doing that feel free to leave them under that hashtag on the gallery but yeah so let me go ahead and start talking about Onyx's makeover and everything like that because let me just tell you this was a bit more of a struggle than I thought it was going to be, like I figured that there was going to be some difficulties, but it was so much harder to find an outfit that like worked on them and everything because as you guys know, the Sims does not make all clothes accessible to both uh, frames, which is very annoying because Sometimes, you know, you want your feminine frame sims to wear masculine frame clothing, it doesn't work, and then vice versa, and it was really frustrating because none of the pants fit Onyx, and I briefly talked about this in my speed build video, but basically I did the whole MC Command Center thing that I showed you guys in one of the past um, Not So Berry videos, and I did the gender swap option, and it just does not work properly regardless because their body is still, like... I guess uh, the feminine frame, but also the masculine frame at the same time. So it, it was really confusing me because you'd assume that the pants would like fit perfectly and everything like that, but that wasn't the case. So I was having such a hard time trying to dress them. So instead of scrapping the whole makeover, I decided I was gonna go CC shopping and see if I could find some male CC that would actually work on Onyx because I know there are some creators that make it so that, you know, the clothing fits for both masculine and feminine frames. And thankfully I came across some good items that actually worked for Onyx. So I was so relieved because I just felt like they were gonna have one outfit that just didn't look good and now I feel like their outfits aren't too bad. And then on two of the outfits, I ended up using shorts, which kind of threw me back to Onyx's childhood look, which was like that short sleeve kind of off the shoulder top type thing, if I remember correctly, and then also the shorts. So it kind of made me happy to have like a fit that kind of threw it back to those days. So I don't know, I'm just, I'm genuinely a lot happier with the outfits cause I literally was just like, I was so frustrated. It just sucks to see that, you know, feminine frame clothing or masculine frame cl clothing isn't universal, which I feel like at this point it should be. And, you know, ever since they gave us the whole um, gender customization options, I feel like since then that should have been like priority is to make all clothing, all outfits work on both frames, any body type, all that jazz. And also when it comes to the whole gender options, I feel like we should have more variety there, like more control over what we wanna change in the sim because here in particular, I had to use MC Command Center in order to make Onyx the way that they look because I wanted to keep their face specifically because if I just go ahead and change Onyx to the masculine frame and the gender options, it changes them entirely. And that's not what I wanted, you know what I mean? I mean, I've expressed that many, many times, but that's the annoying thing is that there's many people who wanna make a trans sim and it just completely changes them. And I mean, maybe there's some people who don't mind that, but 
I didn't want to lose all of Onyx's features just because they're transitioning from female to male. You know what I mean? So I think that that should be more customizable. There's just so much that Creative Sim needs still to, in order for people to represent themselves. And I need to make my video. Like I, I have a video that I've been wanting to make for mm, like over a year now on things I want in Creative Sim. And the list just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so I just want to like make a whole concise video of like things that I feel should be added to Creative Sim because I don't know it's just like the game talks about representation so much and yet it just it's still i feel like very far behind and i mean literally we just got like last year we got more skin tones right so it's it's very behind and um it's kind of annoying and you would think that pronouns would have been like prioritized a while ago as well but here we are without it but at least i have a mod right now that kind of helps with that especially referring to onyx which by the way i did get a couple comments asking about what onyx's pronouns are going to be now that they've transitioned and currently they're going by they them pronouns but i was actually thinking about it because i was like i don't know i might just stick to they them pronouns because like now i'm used to it and i mean i still probably will use they them but i feel like now that they've transitioned, they feel more comfortable in their body. I feel like using they, them, and he, him pronouns will be just fine. So I might still be referring to them as they, them primarily. We'll see what happens. I don't know, like it, whatever comes out of my mouth will come out of my mouth. But I hope that clarifies that for anybody who was curious about that. Also, when it came to adjusting Onyx's face, I wanted to make it a little bit more masculine. But the thing is, is like, I didn't, I really just felt like the more I was thinking about changing them, I didn't want to like lose Onyx, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. I still feel like they look like them. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't feel like they look extremely different but i just changed some things here and there slightly which i might go in and do it again um ever so slightly we'll see how things change as i go on but i don't think that they look that bad i i'm actually fairly happy with um how they look i also tried doing facial hair but i just i didn't feel like it suited them very much and i also went in and got rid of the lashes they had on so currently they don't have any lashes i might use some alpha ones that i have um but i need to get them from my alpha folder into this folder but that is pretty much it as far as onyx's makeover for now they might look a little different next time you guys see them i don't know we'll see what happens but for now that i'm content so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and go thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon bye guys